hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial you are going to be learning how to solve permission deny problem before uh to to get started i will be showing you the exact problem so let's take for instance you have a repository you would like to clone so i'm going to click on the code then copy the https then go to the folder i would like to clone it so i'm going to um, use git batch here to do that then i'm going to use command git clone space the url so paste enter now as you can see it says what permission denied it denied what the permission now let me zoom in my screen so that you can see uh, what i'm trying to um, show you now let's see it says what permission denied so to solve this problem you are going to follow the this simple process that i'm going to be showing you now it's very very simple and amazing so it's very simple so for those who don't have github or or you are just installing your um, github account this is also applied for you and for those who already have their github account it's still the same process okay so the first thing we have to do is to unset your current email your current username we need to unset it and unset some exclude files then um you cannot add to your uh, ssh directory and delete it so now let's take it one after the other the first thing is to um unset is to uh, unset our global uh exclude files so i'm going to unset this now so this um commands i'm using i'm going to provide it um below the description so don't bother don't worry yourself okay so i'm trying to unset my words exclude file my, now my uns exclude file has been unset so the next thing i need to unset is my email and my username so we need to do it just as i'm explaining to you okay so do the same here okay my um username is unset my email is also unset so the next thing we need to do is to um use the git um global global uh, iphone iphone list to check our um, global list so i'm going to say git i'm going to use this git command git config dash dash global dash dash list now as you can see my username my email is not part of it so now let's not try to what to add it again so i'm going to add my username so to add your username we are going to take out this onset and at the end of it pass your what your email so i'm going to pass my email in this place so be able to i so don't bother all these um commands i'm going to provide it down um, below the description so be able to i at gmail.com okay that's my email now my username the same applies to the username okay so i'm going to change this to um name name is equals to what I delay how your DJ so I delay how your DJ enter okay so once you are done setting your uh, email setting your name you can also confirm again if it's part of it now as you can see my username is now part of the list my email is part of the list so the next thing we need to do now is to um, head down to our local disks where you install your windows click on your users under your users click on your username under your username click on the ssh inside your ssh folder you might find any file in this ssh folder so just uh you can delete it but for me this is my new and updated um file that we just added as i was updating uh, my name and other credentials so if you find any other files in this place you can try as much as possible to take it out um let me let me actually take this out so you understand deeply okay now my ssh is empty as you can see we don't have anything in my uh, ssh so the next thing we have to do is to go back to the um to our command line area now in this place now we're going to generate a new key we're going to generate a new key that we're going to pass down to our github account so to do the key generation we're going to use ssh iphone key gen okay so enter so you're going to wait for the peer for the key to be generated so it's going to ask you enter it's going to ask you to enter the file in which you want to save the key let me zoom in my screen so that you can see very well 
let me zoom in my screen okay so, so i think this is better so it says what enter the file in which you want to save this key so you can enter any file name that you would like this um this key to be called so for me i can decide to use this um, id underscore rsa as default so let me use the default id underscore rsa as my um as a title of my file so i'll leave it the way it is i will now click on what enter so once you click on enter it's going to ask you for a password or uh, sorry for a passphrase so i'm going to enter um something for my passphrase and if i like i might not enter anything for my passphrase so you can also do the same for yours okay so i've done that now so the same thing you have to enter your passphrase again okay so now our our um our key has been generated and it has been saved to user under my username at the layer and inside the folder of what ssh now let's go to this folder and check if it's actually there so i'll go back to this folder click on this folder as you can see we have the file generated in this folder good and that is awesome so the next thing to do is to go back to our um our command line area and close this command line area but don't forget the directory that you save your um your your generated key mine is in ssh folder under my username so don't forget this um directory so we are going to be using this directory after we um go after we set up our um security level on our github account so i'm going to close this now okay then i will head down to my settings or my github account go to my settings under my settings i'm going to head down to ssh and gpg keys now under my ssh key i'm going to add a what a new ssh okay on the new add new ssh i'm going to add a title to this as windows uh, my key is not copied yet now to copy um, to copy my key i'm going to be using a power shell because if i try to use the git command it might not copy um the what's it called the the content of the of the of the pub you know we have dot pub as the key as you can see this is the dot pub as the extension so my uh my git command might not be able to copy that but if you have any application that can open the content it's fine but i'll be using git um i'll be using powershell to do the copy so to use powershell to do the copy i'm going to be um using this command that i'll be pasting into this powershell now so for those who don't see my second screen i'm going to provide this command in my description so don't get confused this command will be, provide, will be provided in my description so just go to my description copy it and use it okay so this is the command and the file name that you um you you placed into saving your fi into saving your key now my is what id underscore rse dot p u b okay now let me enter and the content has been copied if i check my clipboard now sorry if i check my clipboard now you are going to find it in my clipboard uh, to open your clipboard is very simple just use the windows v to bring it up okay now after i'm after i copy that i'm going to close powershell then paste in my um copied content into this place now this is my copied key so before i add this key if i try to still um get this done it's not going to work let me try to show you if i try to get this done it's not going to work okay click on um uh, sorry so i'm going to um go to overview okay adjust image uploader progress okay now let me click on add um click on the code copy uh what's it called copy the https then i'm going to head down to the folder again to the folder that i want to add this uh my content okay this is the folder then let me try to get back to this guy again and let's see if it's going to work without um saving our key because we are just trying to add a key we haven't saved it yet okay so let's try to git clone the url so git clone git clone then the url will be paste okay enter now as you can see uh it asks me for some generated key so let me say yes actually i haven't saved it yet so if i save yes it's going to still reject it because the key doesn't match the one on the live server okay now let me save this now add ssh key 
now my key has been added to my github uh, ssh repo uh, ssh directory so the next thing i need to do now is to do this again run this command again so git clone yeah run again okay now let's see what we are going to get now as you can see it's clone it directly <laughs> this is amazing you no know, this this solve a lot of problem it stress less your time without wasting much time on researching on the internet how to solve this how to solve this so uh if you have any issue relating to this tutorial comment below and don't forget please like subscribe to this channel so that others who are in this same problem can find the solution so thank you for this um time thank you for your time thank you for watching my videos see you some other time bye